going on traders welcome to the channel i'm john that's groot we trade options here all right so we are looking at thinkorswim today and the question is how to set up buy indicators or studies in thinkorswim so really powerful tool it's kind of nice in thinkorswim you can sort of customize these studies however you please. So I'm going to show you first how to add a study, but then we'll just cover one that creates like buy signals for you that you can sort of follow or go with. But here's the best part. In the end, at the end of the day, you can not only customize these, you can literally create and code your own, but I am not going to get into that unless you would want to sit here for a while. So we'll keep this video brief and let's dive in. All right, so when you're in Thinkorswim, basically you're going to see a bunch of different areas up here, but the key one you want to go to is charts. So very powerful tool. Charts is your best friend. Get used to them. You're going to love it. And as you go into here, you'll see a couple things. So you can always right click. And as you do, you're going to have a lot of options at your finger trip, finger tips, finger trips. <laughs> All right, so there's drawings, but studies is where you'll go. And this is how you can basically save a study set, add a study set, or um, you know find something that you like. And I'll show you another way. So I'll click out of that. So that was by right clicking. But if you go up here, there's drawings, here's studies. And this is also another area where you can add studies quickly. So, you know, the common ones like RSI, the Bollinger Bands, that kind of thing is here. It's pretty easy to find. You just kind of go through the index and you'll see like RSI, RSI crossovers, etc. So very nice. But here's one that I think is very powerful, very underappreciated by some people. And that's like the patterns. This thing can pick up patterns uh, such as say like a, a, a doji or a engulfing pattern. So as an example, let's just click on engulfing. And you're going to see this right here. It's already going to tell you whenever we have, you know, bearish and bullish signals. So as an example, the down arrows are going to tell you when we have bearish engulfing patterns. Uh, so those could have been semi useful in instances like this, such as I'm in the queues right now. You can see this bearish engulfing pattern here, which had basically overtaken the previous day's bar and closed at the very bottom. And then guess what? Next couple days of trading went much lower. So that would have been a good sell or short signal. And then you saw something very similar here at the top where we basically had another day of uh, bearish engulfing kind of like some grinding and then we went lower so it is a little tricky since obviously you get these different signals here but uh, it can be something that is helpful so if you're setting up like a custom indicator maybe there's something that seems to work for you or you've done a lot of like back testing then this is great this will help you set up your trade now let's talk about how to set up a custom study now the easiest way really is if you go to edit studies you can go right here and you can adjust things so as an example let me just add the adx here and if you see that it shows up in the lower section right when i hit apply you can already see the adx showing up right here and let's just go to i'll go back to that okay so studies edit studies and then from here you'll see this little gears icon as you click it it will now pop up with all kinds of beauties so if you're like oh well let's change that length to maybe 20 or so that'll actually change the input parameter in this setup for the adx and they do adx crossovers all kinds of stuff you can change the width you can make it like dotted or dashed lines and another thing i love is you can also change the color so if you want to change this to like let's go pink for now I don't is that pink i don't even know <laughs> i can't tell but that might make it a little bit more visually easy to to see to do to work with very awesome but here's the cool thing too not only that but check this out you can actually create your own custom studies so as an example this uses something called think script it's probably pretty similar to c or c plus and i know to some people that might sound intimidating right now, but keep in mind, there's tons of code that you can find. You can always ask people for help and you know, it's a great place, especially if someone's into coding and maybe they want to create their own special functions, their own trading, their own type of situation. And you can click help on ThinkScript and it'll take you here to the education center. So pretty useful tool definitely recommend at least understanding parts of thinkorswim and for anyone who's like very non-technical don't be 
freaked out. I know it's like kind of, you know, you see this and you see tons of tools. You know, my suggestion is to just digest them like one at a time. Don't sit there and get intimidated by, you know, if you see other traders and they got like 50,000 things on there. Really, in my opinion, the simplest you can make things, the better. And then if you feel like you can start stacking indicators or customized indicators or tools from Thinkorswim in there, feel free, integrate them that way. But you don't have to be perfect. Guess what? The market is always going to be there. So I thank you for watching this. We will catch you on the next trade. See ya.